Good morning from a misty Dartmoor. Today I'm heading down to Hingston Stone Row. It's a cracking spot, a bit of lunch, and from there I'm gonna head over and try and find Grimm's Grave, a spot I've never been to before, so it should be interesting. So join me for a fantastic walk on Dartmoor. Let's go. Wow, what a place. Imagine what it was like living here. I mean, look at that fireplace. Imagine that burning away on a winter's night. Let's try it. Yeah, look at that. Coming up now to Hengsden Hill Stone Row. This is a cracking stone row, look at that. There's 157 stones in this stone row. There's a burial which sits inside this stunning Cairn Circle, which lies at the west, southwestern end of the stone row. Dinner for today is chicken, peppers, mushrooms, noodles, onions, and chilies. Well, the forecast was uh, sunshine today, or sunshine showers light showers. Actually no, it was light winds. There was about 7% chance of rain. <laughs> but this is Dartmoor. I was contemplating just now whether to go to Grimm's Grave another day. Because I know there's no tracks nearby there. It's going to be boggy. I've had a lot of rain recently. But I've got all the correct gear with me. If it does get too bad, I'll turn around and go back and do it another day. But fingers crossed. I'm in amongst all the old mines uh, around the Ditsworthy Warren area, and there's not really any buildings as such, apart from this one lone structure. Cracking, isn't it? Mm. 
So I think Grim's grave is on the other side of this river. So I've got to try and find a way across somehow. Okay, getting across is easier said than done. I'm getting further and further away and I'm walking through lots of bogs. I might have to abandon today's mission <laughs> and go to Grimm's grave another time in better weather and uh, from a different direction maybe. So at the moment I've got this one to cross which I can get through here I think, take my shoes and socks off. But there's another one over here which is worse and more fast flowing. Let's keep pushing on. The shoes and socks are coming off. This is proving quite hard to get to. I've crossed the river three times now and each time I've ended up in bogs and there's no way I can get through these bogs, it's just too difficult to get through. So each time I'm coming back over the river again, going further upstream and trying again. So three times I've been over, unsuccessful. It's further on yet so I'll come back in a bit more from the river. The river is down there. And uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a bit drier, not as boggy along here until eventually when I get to the other side of Grimm's grave I can cross over there. But this is not an easy trek. <laughs> wow, here we are, Grimm's grave. What a spectacular, amazing kiss vein. Look at it. It is cracking. There would have been a topping stone on here as well. Well, that's sadly been stolen over the years and it's surrounded by this amazing cairn circle. And just think, someone was buried there over 4,000 years ago. What an amazing place. Look at the mist. It's coming in thick now. There's at least 10 kiss veins in this area. So it must have been something special about being buried here, something significant. But 10 that's known of, there's possibly loads more. There was also an excavation at two of the Kisfins by Richard Hansford Worth, which found fragments of a decorated pot, a bell beaker, and arrowheads which were in perfect condition. And these were dated back, of course, to Bronze Age times. So whoever was buried here, they've set me a real challenge today. It was only seven miles, the route I took, but it's horrendous terrain all the way here, bogs and river crossings. And some people might think, well, why would you come all that way just to see a few stones? But I don't know, someone was buried here. Someone's spirit is probably still here. And it's just nice to come along and show some respect for five minutes. In fact, I'm going to put the kettle on and have a cup of coffee. I absolutely love Dartmoor. I've walked it, ran it, swam, camped, all over. But there's always something new to explore. In Grimm's grave, what an amazing place. I'm gonna go back again. What made it funny today though was the fact I actually went to the wrong place first of all. I was on that side of the river and uh, to another burial. Wasn't paying attention. And then I realized I'm in the wrong place. So I had to cross back over again to find Grimm's grave. <laughs> but yeah, what a place. What an amazing, spectacular burial that was. That's made my day that has.
another fantastic day on Dartmoor. I've had mist, rain, sunshine, wind, just needed some snow to top it off. Maybe next time. So I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed making it and walking it. It's been a cracker. So this is Dartmoor Adventurer signing off from Dartmoor. Whatever you're doing today, have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon. Cheers.